So, so now I'm going to ask you a tough question, which is, if you can grade President Trump so far, mm-hmm. I, I usually grade him along a couple of lines. I grade him on executive policy, I grade him on legislative policy, and I grade him on rhetoric. Because uh-huh. it's very difficult to give him an overall grade because he's all over the place. In some places, he's, he's a hammer hitting a nail, and in some places, he's a hammer hitting a baby. Yeah. So how, do, how would you grade his, his administration so far? And then I'll ask you the, the brutal follow-up. So, hey, so, so first of all, um, I, uh, I got to say that not a big fan of the moral equivalence between a hammer hitting a nail and a hammer hitting a baby. Yeah. But, um, Me neither. But. Uh, yeah, so uh, so I, I'm not going to weasel out of it, but I will say up front, there is a raging debate in Washington about how much of the, stu- how much of the good stuff Trump has done has happened because of him or in spite of him, right? So... Uh, one of the things that drove me crazy about Steve Bannon and all that stuff was this constant drumbeat about how Mitch McConnell was the enemy of Donald Trump. Mitch McConnell has been the single greatest guarantor, guarantor of Trump's legacy among conservatives. He's the guy who's gotten all of these federal judges across the finish line. And he, I think, you know, I, do I agree with Mitch McConnell on everything? No, but I think he deserves enormous credit for that, um, not to be sort of demonized. And so a lot of the stuff, like the stuff that goes on with the EPA, the regulatory stuff, the FCC stuff, the, uh, uh, the FDA stuff, I think is great. I don't, I, I think that basically what Donald Trump has done is basically says, do all the good stuff, and then he just doesn't pay attention. I'll take that any day of the week. <laughs> yeah, you know? But there is, this, there is this idea out there that he's actually managing and governing <laughs> and paying attention to the details. When in reality, one of the sort of accidental byproducts of the way Trump came into office is that a lot of the regular party types wouldn't take jobs in the administration. And so the administration, thank goodness, went and got a lot of, including a lot of friends of mine, hardcore movement, think tank, um, true believers who went in there and said, who knows how long this thing's going to last. Let's get some stuff done. Right. And so I'm all in favor of that. So. So going by the normal grading process, which is that whatever happens on a president's watch, that president gets credit for. On the domestic regulatory stuff, I give him, you know, somewhere between a B plus and an A minus. Okay, and then on foreign policy, how do you how do you grade him? I think there are a couple of things that only Trump would have done. Very few, but there are a few that are important, right? I mean, maybe Ted Cruz would have moved the embassy to Jerusalem. Maybe. Maybe, you know, but almost none of the other guys would right. have, right? So the Jerusalem move, pulling out of Paris which I think was a was not not the big deal people make it out to be, but symbolically was a big mm-hmm. deal. Well, reaching out to the Saudis and trying to actually broker a, an alliance. Yeah, I, no, I, I, I think that's right. Although, again, I think, you know. It may have, be more of a byproduct of Obama's horrible. We have, yeah, a lot of Trump's victories are the product of Obama's failures, right? And the, Obama so messed up the, the, the game board that he created these awesome opportunities for Trump to just sort of snap up. So on the foreign policy stuff, again, with the caveat that I, I don't think all of that much of it is as intentional as some of his biggest fans do. Still, B plus, A minus. 